Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. This episode is the second in my current series on features coming up in C++ 20. And if you want a little bit of an introduction about that, make sure you watch the previous video to this one. But in this video, I am going to cover a new feature that is added in Lambdas in C++ 20. Now, you're probably already familiar with generic lambdas in C++. So this is a lambda that can take two parameters of any type, add them together, and using automatic return type deduction, return the result. So if I wanted to here, I can say return L3, 2 comma 4, and we should get 6 returned from main, and we can see that here. Now, uh, I, before I continue, I would like to point out again that I am using a very recent trunk build of GCC. So um, this feature may or may not be in whatever release you are currently using, and it does require C++ 20 features enabled, and you can see that here with my dash std equals C++ 2a. Although at the moment, we're just using C++ 14's generic lambdas. And now these are uh, two parameters of any type. We've got, uh, we can pass in a float and an int, and this is going to do floating point arithmetic. And if we do something like this, we might see 7, and it's going to get truncated to an integer when it's returned from main. C20 is adding template syntax to our generic lambdas if we so choose to use that. So this is the first time that I'm playing with this. We are going to see how hard or easy the syntax is to get right, because let's be fair, lambdas have an awful lot that you can do with them. And I think, quite honestly, if you can fully understand everything that a lambda does and how lambdas are implemented, you understand most of the C++ standard that you would use in any daily use cases. Now, there are a few things that you wouldn't get exposure to, such as partial template type specialization and that kind of thing. But let's go ahead and see what we've got here. My understanding is that we get this type name t put in here. And we aren't doing anything to deduce this type name t. So this is fair that this is failing to compile. Now, we could say, well, I want no, oh, that does not work. Okay, so right now, it cannot deduce what this type T is. So we're going to have to do something with it. So I believe this is correct. Yes, so it is deducing using regular template type deduction what the parameter of first is. And in this case, this is going to be a double. And this is exactly how auto works already. There is literally no difference between these two things because auto uses the rules for template type deduction. So what is the point here? Why do we want to be able to specify our type name uh, t or whatever parameter that we want to for our template? This is the primary use case, I think, and that is being able to require that the two parameters have the same type. So in the previous example, this would have worked, but now it can't. Now we're passing a double for the first parameter and an int for the second parameter, and now this is going to fail to compile. Now I would say there is also another use case for it, and that would be if we wanted to somehow constrain the types that are passed to our lambda. Now, in this very simple use case, we're not going to get um, a, a, any kind of real advantage here, but let's go ahead and give it a shot and say we want this to be a vector of anything. Something like this. So now if we create, um, if we have our call to this lambda here, this is going to fail to compile because this no longer matches this pattern of a vector of some type of t. And if we were to create a vector like this, and then return our lambda of vec, then we get something pretty interesting here. We're passing in four parameters here. The compiler is using this pattern matching with template uh, function type deduction, 
and it is saying, okay, this is allowed to compile because this is a vector of int. We didn't care what it was a vector of, but it is a vector of something specific. And then it's returning the size parameter here. And we can see that we're getting four returned from main. And if we increase the length of our vector, we should see five get returned from main here. Yes, we do. And all this other code is being generated to create the um, storage space for the vector and put things into it and everything else. So uh, this is specifically the feature added in C++20, and this is the familiar template type syntax for generic lambdas. And as we already saw, we can mix and match these things and just have some other auto value if we wanted to, and it doesn't even matter what we pass into here, because we're not using that value at all. We're only using the first one, and then we're returning the size from it. Uh, so yes, this is our new Lambda syntax added in C++20, and like I said, this pretty much means that Lambdas, they utilize most features of the language. So pretty interesting to spend time studying them, and if you go back and look at these videos, I have a considerable number of videos in C++ Weekly about Lambdas and what it is possible to do with them, so I encourage you to check those out. So again, thank you for watching this video, and be sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and follow me on Twitter.